so because i am ensuring it every moment now i can live a fulfilling life every moment and this is what we are desiring for so we are desiring for for a fulfilling life every moment but my sanskars are not aligned with this so these steps are helping us to observe my sanskar to evaluate those sanskar and to align those sanskar with the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence that's why i need to understand relationship harmony and coexistence at this moment at every moment so in this manner i can ensure a fulfilling life within myself every moment so this is what we are exploring from step 1 to 6 we are trying to ensure a fulfilling life within ourselves and for that these steps are helping us so again these are steps only and ultimately it is me who has to decide to explore ourselves to be aware every moment right so this is what we are discussing now we can start with reflection if anyone has okay so we have ganesh ravinder ji with us नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते नमस्ते टू ऑल सो जस्ट आई वांटेड टू आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन इन द लास्ट इंटरेक्शन बट राइट नाउ आई हैव आई थिंक दिस इज समथिंग बट स्टिल आई एम आस्किंग दिस दैट थ्रू आउट दिस स्टेप्स ऑफ ऑब्जर्विंग सेल्फ बाय सेल्फ can so, i see your voice is very low okay is it okay now it is better hello? okay hello yes we yeah. are now yeah, it is better. better okay so i want to ask that uh, in step 1 uh, we are observing our feelings and then we are evaluating it after that uh, we uh, see that uh, who is responsible for the feeling and then we are evaluating it based on the knowing and assumption so nowhere uh, we are uh, identifying these feelings as feeling of opposition or feeling of relationship right Uh, we are not uh, recognizing them as separate feeling like anger or greediness or what we can say uh, criticism we are not separating those feelings into these uh, categories so just yes, this was my doubt i understood that the feelings which are disturbing the happiness happiness in the continuity uh, that we have to see and we have to sort it out uh, at the step of where we are um, analyzing it based on the knowing and um, assumption ji bhai yes sir so we are talking about those feelings which can ensure fulfilling life so this feeling of opposition anger you know hmm. so these feelings cannot ensure a fulfilling life continuity of fulfilling life within me ji you know? and in step 6a we are evaluating those feelings so if we have a feeling of opposition then we are asking ourselves which feelings are naturally acceptable to me relationship or opposition 
सो वंस वी हैव ए फीलिंग ऑफ रिलेशनशिप देन रादर देन अपोजिंग अदर आई विल बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ अदर राइट सो वंस आई स्टार्ट अपोजिंग अदर्स आई फील एन हैप्पी एंड द अदर ऑल्सो फील एन हैप्पी बिकॉज दीज फीलिंग्स आर नॉट नेचुरली एक्सेप्टेबल टू हिम ऑल्सो so what we are evaluating which feelings can ensure a fulfilling life for myself for others also so with feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence i can ensure a fulfilling life and with this feeling i can complement i can participate outside also so with this participation other can be comfortable and i can be comfortable with these feelings by ensuring within me so is it right bhaiya or not no but i am asking that suppose uh, if my happiness is uh, uh, disturbed suppose mm -hmm. if somebody my suppose my friend buy some new car okay so mm -hmm. at that time also my happiness may be disturbed but that is not anger that is some what we can say jealousy mm -hmm. right means i am not uh, happy with uh, uh he is uh, what we can say whatever he has accomplished or sometimes whatever he does some other feeling i would like to criticize him i don't like his behavior like this sometimes he says something and i get angry on that so these are the categorization of uncomfortable feelings we are not doing this at any stage i think we are doing it at the stage of knowing and assumption where we are verifying isn't it bhai mm. so at what step we are not doing this no we are doing it uh, at the step of 6 where we are verifying it on the basis uh, basis of the feeling whether it is based mm. on knowing and mm. uh, in on the basis of assumption where i am mm. uh, looking for if i am convinced that, that it is assumption then i will see that why why it is happening or uh, mm. should i change that i should uh, see the relationship harmony and uh, uh, coexistence and then we are correcting it. but at first stage if any imagination is disturbing me, whether it is anger jealousy or we are not okay. naming it at stage 1 we are just okay. seeing that whether it is disturbing us then we are evaluating it and then uh, we are following the further stage yes. am i right bhai yes this is yes, what yeah now i i got it so yes. in step 1 we are observing whatever we can observe yes so if you are able to see this feeling of jealous this feeling of anger in step 1 then it is okay then start step 6 just after step 1 but if we are not able to see it up to that extent then we have to go step by step right right we yeah. are so these steps yeah. are facilitating us to go uh, deeper inside us yeah. Yeah. but if we think that we can do step 6 just after step 1 then there is mm -hmm. no problem right so these steps are designed to uh, get the root get the root and also for it is designed for uh, keeping everyone's competence in center so many of us would not be able to see these feelings in step 1 in step 2 so we are moving gradually deeper to deeper so in step 1 we are saying observe whatever you can observe now if you are not able to differentiate what are thoughts what is expectation what is feeling then start just observing then in step 2 and 3 we are asking just ask whether you are comfortable or not whatever right. feeling you have it is naturally acceptable to you or not if you are able to uh, sense that feeling that i have a feeling of jealous this time right then you move to step 
who is taking decision okay. it is based on right understanding or assumption right way so it is designed for everyone but you can skip right. two or three step for yourself okay. is it clear right. it is clear sir okay bhai namaste thank you namaste bhaiya so we have balji reddy with us and give me just minute i am changing my network then i come to balji reddy bhaiya Yes. So, namaste, bhaiya, Balji Reddy, bhaiya. Namaskar, Gopal ji. Namaskar, all others. So, yesterday the assignment is observe the feeling in the imagination, go through all the seven steps. So, the first step, uh, I can say, uh, just uh, about ten uh, percent of the time, I was aware. and in the in that time uh, some of the incidents i can uh, uh, reflect one incident uh, let us i was aware and uh, i observed my imagination at that moment and the second step uh, is that feeling that we ha i have at that moment naturally acceptable to me one incident so are you in harmony yes i was i feel i was in harmony happy with the feeling and who decided uh, yes i i am responsible for that one definitely nobody uh, and on what basis do you decide on the basis of understanding or assumption then i observed definitely it is not based on understanding assumption because we all i am telling about uh, uh, we all together uh, the whole family members yesterday evening in the home only we watched a movie what my grandmother likes very much So, but uh, we all share it together and uh, okay then i observed uh, which feelings are naturally acceptable feelings of relationship definitely but is it uh, the feeling of relationship really we all together gathered shared we relaxed also then i told my son also nana you see don't think that this is uh, uh, the relaxation because tomorrow you see uh, if the same movie is played then you will definitely say nan it's bored please turn it off means it is temporary first of all uh, let us keep it aside whether the feelings by these uh, sensations are real feel real happiness or not that is different but what we feel relaxed uh, that also is temporary what i uh, may, uh, uh, understood and what i realized my son also because he also can understand easily so the feeling of relationship is not that feeling of relationship is whatever naturally we have that we should have suppose if anybody lacks if we have we can share we can uplift that person we can make him understand that is the true feeling of relationship with which we can have with with that relation we can have with that relation forever i explained him and in the b bit uh, we explore yes uh, the feeling of understand uh, the feeling uh, we explore within to understand the relationship harmony and seventh year ensure the feeling that you have at this moment uh, yes i ensured it is with that uh, feeling of relationship but uh, the second point b bit 7b 
when you are able to understand the relationship harmony and coexistence in its completeness when we are really able to understand definitely we are uh, able to decide our feeling this is uh, regarding one experience another experience of opposition uh, we definitely we don't understand it 7b because we are unable to understand the relationship harmony coexistence in its completeness uh, that's why we are unable to decide our feeling so in the uh, means what uh, context of uh, opposition so that's why the matter is what i have understood uh, always we should uh, try to understand the relationship harmony and coexistence time to time that's why i asked you once by a uh, time to time kindly elaborate uh, the meaning of understanding of relationship harmony coexistence uh, in addition to our uh, efforts practices uh, because you are experience your knowledge is highly required by uh, this is my reflection thank you very much by uh. nice priya so you always keep your sharing very exploratively and elaborately and you are really working on you that's why you are able to tell percentage wise time wise step wise so that's nice priya <clears throat> so uh if you see in family and i am starting with family but you can expand it to your workplace then society also so if you see in your family suppose mm, mother has cooked food you know, some tasty food and we are eating together so it is true that if i repeat that food again and again i will be bored anyone will be bored this is one part but if we see with relationship so we can have feeling of relationship within us for each other and that makes me relax so for example mother is cooking food so child can see feeling of care in mother so if i am in harmony right? harmony means self organization available within each unit so if you see this tree any tree it is self organized so its leaves are growing that tree is growing because it is self organized similarly self organization is available within us also so if i am aware of this self organization i am self organized then i can see the feeling of relationship with in me and with this feeling of relationship i can participate outside so suppose mother is cooking food and that that child is self organized in self in harmony in self then he will be able to see that feeling of care in mother so now only food is not at the center now feelings will be at the center so once child is able to see that mother is cooking food because of the feeling of care and once child is able to see this feeling of care he will feel he will have a feeling of gratitude for her mother that she is doing she is making effort for his body so child will feel relax you know uh, because of feeling of gratitude and mother will feel relax because of feeling of care similarly other members also so now with this feeling of relationship with this self organization with this sense of coexistence feelings will be at the center not the 
things will be at the center. Right. So suppose mother is teaching his child, you are teaching your child. And if I am self-organized, then definitely my attention, my focus will be on feeling. Then I can see that mother has a feeling of guidance. That's why she is teaching me. And I will feel gratitude for mother that she is making effort for my growth. And these feelings sustain for a long time in us. <clears throat> and so happiness that is driving from these feelings will sustain for a long time. But happiness that is uh, driving from, that is being derived from uh, those food sensation, it will not sustain for a long time. So after one day, two day, I will be bored of those food. I will bo be bored of movie. But with feeling, my happiness can sustain for a long time. So when I am aware of this relationship, harmony and coexistence, then feelings will be at the center. And with this feeling, I will be participating in my family, in my workplace, in my society, with nature. So once child is able to see that with the feeling of care, mother is cooking food, then he will also think to participate in mother's growth. So with this feeling of care, child will also take care of her body. With feeling of guidance, child will also explain whatever he knows to his mother. So now feelings will be at the center. Feelings will be flowing. In fact, if you see any moment, material is flowing because of at the base, feelings are flowing. So someone is cooking food, someone is going office to earn money. Sometimes mother is teaching, sometimes you are bringing uh, some clothes, you are bringing some sweets to your child. So material is flowing because at the back, at the base, feelings are flowing. Now my right. attention will shift to feelings. And earlier my attention was only at the material. But with the awareness of this relationship, harmony and coexistence, now my attention will shift to feeling. And once my attention is shifted to feeling, then it will sustain a feeling life in me. Is it okay, Bhaiya? Uh, really, Bhaiya, because that uh, is the driving force. Yes. So with the feeling of relationship, I will be thinking of nurturing protection of my family members. I will be thinking of nurturing protection, right utilization at my workplace. Right. So suppose my child is not obeying me, but the feeling of relationship, I will be thinking of complimenting him. What program I can make for his consciousness growth. And similarly, I will be thinking of protecting him. So I will be making a program so that his consciousness, his feelings, thoughts are safe from outside. Similarly, whatever possibility is in him, I will be rightly utilizing those possibility. So no, now my whole perception will change because I am keeping this relationship, harmony and coexistence at the center. Right, Bhaiya? So is it fine, Bhaiya, or anything I should add? No, Bhaiya. Thank you very much, Bhaiya. Nice, Bhaiya. Thank you. So let's take another uh, sharing. So we have Abilas. Uh, namaste, Bia. Namaste, Bia. Am I audible, Bia? Yes, yes. Uh, so, Bia, first of all, uh, whatever you explained to Balji Reddy, actually, it. Uh, 
गेव मी रादर क्लैरिटी सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दैट एंड भैया आई हैव वन क्वेश्चन व्हेन आई वाज प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑल द स्टेप्स दैट इन फिफ्थ नंबर स्टेप वी सी दैट आई डिसाइडेड इट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग और अजम्पन्स तो भैया माय क्वेश्चन इज दिस दैट हाउ टू सी लाइक एवरीबडी ऑन दिस प्लेनेट हु इज लिविंग ह्यूमन बींग्स they are living up to some extent with the innateness only it's not like this that there are people who are living with no innateness everybody is living with the innateness so bhaiya when somebody is living with the assumptions and we are having some sort of right understanding then we are able to differentiate that this is not the right understanding this is assumption so bhaiya i want to know like how to see innateness of the people that they are living with the innateness how to see it more by that only we will be able to see the complementary ship for towards people we will be able to see that i can participate because sometimes competence comes in the center and potential goes away we feel that the person can't learn so how to see the potential part in the center that the person has the capability to learn the person can live a good life the person wants the continuity of happiness uh, how to see this way yeah, please guide me See how you can see it. You can yeah, see your voice is cracking actually a bit. Maybe my network. Okay, okay, now we are. It's okay. Now we are. It's better. Okay. Okay, be. So it is very interesting uh-huh. how can see in others, you know, his innateness. Mm-hmm. uh just i am changing my slide just give me one minute ji yes so how much you can see in others it depends much on how much you are aware within yourself ji right suppose for example and again yes i was giving example to balji reddy suppose there is a tree Mm-hmm. so if you your ability is only to see at gross level ji mm-hmm. then you will be able to see only its color its mm-hmm. leaves its height width but as you move towards mm-hmm. uh, as your ability mm-hmm. is increased to see this subtle thing Mm. then you will be able to see its property also ji mm. its impact on other another unit mm. so sab hai na and as your ability to see to settle things increase then you will be able to see its participation mm. as your ability increases you know to see settle thing then you will be able to see its harmony that it is self organized mm-hmm. as your ability to see more subtle thing increases mm-hmm. then you will be able to see coexistence of this tree mm-hmm. so how much i can see in others it depends on how much i am evolved within myself mm-hmm. so that tree is available to all of us Mm. but how much i can see it it depends on my evolution mm. so when newton saw this tree apple he observed two things mm. one is its color height etc apple and second thing its impact so he discovered the gravitational force and it is only the effect of one unit to another unit he could not see his participation of apple he could not mm-hmm. see self organization of that tree and apple he could not see the coexistence of that tree with space mm hai na ji so it depends on our evolution so how can i see innateness in others 
if you are able to see your innateness if you are able to see self organization within you hmm. then you can see it is innate in every human being hai na hmm. so we Jee start bhi. with doubt for others because we are not ensured within myself so how would i know that other person is living with his innateness then i will be able to see definiteness in his conduct and that conduct you can see easily because it is visible through sensations right and if you want to see this innateness self organization in another person within the limit of sensation then definitely you will not be able to see right but at behavioral level you can observe he will be living with definite manner his imagination will be definite he will be thinking of relationship every moment if it is happening it means he is living with this contemplation understanding and realization mm -hmm. right but if his behavior is changing by time by person by place now you observe yourself why my behavior changes with time person place and what would be answer for myself because i have assumed something about the reality that's why it is changing mm -hmm. so it is also happening with others mm -hmm. is it it bhaiya uh, bhaiya like uh, i would like to give very specific example like my sister uh, she got married in 2011 okay before that mm -hmm. we used to have huge interaction okay i used to talk to her daily i used to see her behavior daily everything was quite regular okay now after her marriage we talk often on like in 5 to 6 days we talk on phone or video call like this okay so my point was only this that i get to see her very less okay i get to see her behavior quite less when i see myself i am able to see my imagination 24/7 whether there is a position or relationship so that's why i'm saying that how to see like so it becomes little difficult for us to recall the innateness because for me i'm seeing myself every time like an old friend is there like before sometime i talk to one of my friends after 23 years so i didn't know what kind of um, environment he got what kind of belief system he is having so obviously it will take me time to initiate the conversation that what kind of conversation should i do so that would make him feel comfortable at least hey you, your voice is breaking uh, hello is, is it okay now bhaiya uh, sunil bhaiya are you able to uh, listen yeah, I, can, i can hear abhilash ji clearly okay so uh, this is my set problem uh, give me just one minute bhaiya i change ji, my network ji ji just a minute yes bhaiya so you uh, just repeat last line that i could not listen uh -huh. Hmm. so i was saying this thing only that when we uh, get to meet with someone get to interact with someone so we keep having the recalling of the person's behavior conduct and we are able to see the innateness because we as you always say that we see the experimental lab okay how the person is doing the person is with the innateness only but when when we get to meet very less okay so like i i am seeing myself 24/7 i am seeing my sister uh, once in a while so in that case bhaiya i am asking so no bhaiya uh, there is a slip in your observation hmm. so if i am meeting one person frequently hmm. right i can be aware of his sanskar ji ji his behavior ji but i cannot be aware of his innateness till i am aware of my innateness Hmm. so what is happening some people you are meeting frequently with some people you are meeting very less 
सो यू कैन सेंस देयर संस्कार सो दोज हु आर लिविंग क्लोजली टू अस आई विल बी मोर अवेयर ऑफ हिज संस्कार हिज टेंडेंसीज हिज वे ऑफ थिंकिंग टू दोज पर्सन हु आर नॉट लिविंग और मीटिंग फ्रिक्वेंटली आई विल नॉट बी अवेयर ऑफ दोज संस्कार हिज संस्कार हिज वे ऑफ थॉट बट इट नेटनेस इज समथिंग दैट कैन डायरेक्टली ऑब्जर्व सो इफ आई एम ऑब्जर्विंग विद इन माई सेल्फ देन आई कैन बी एश्योर्ड ऑफ अदर्स ऑल्सो सो माई इन नेटनेस डजेंट डिपेंड ऑन माई संस्कार माई संस्कार मे बी अलाइंड विथ माई नेटनेस मे नॉट बी अलाइंड विथ माई नेटनेस सो दिस ब्लॉक बी वन विथ अबाउट वी आर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस सो दिस इज हायर लेवल एक्टिविटीज एंड वॉट एवर इज गोइंग ऑन इन माई इमेजिनेशन इट डजेंट इम्पैक्ट ऑन माई सेल्फ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट्स वाई एनी टाइम इफ आई आस्क माई सेल्फ फीलिंग ऑफ रिलेशनशिप इज नेचुरली एक्सेप्टेबल टू मी और अपोजिशन आंसर कम्स रिलेशनशिप है ना इवन आई इफ इवन इफ आई एम लिविंग इन अपोजिशन ऑल द टाइम सो इट मीन्स इन नेटनेस डज नॉट इज नॉट इम्पेक्टेड बाई अफेक्टेड बाई माई संस्कार so okay. what you are correlating you are correlating the sanskar and innateness so you are thinking that if sanskars are disturbed it means how can i ensure his innateness mm. right but you can see this in yourself whether your sanskars are disturbed but your self organization is pure you are mm. self organized within you mm. so sometimes i also able to think rightly sometimes i also i am not able to think rightly but does it impact my on my innateness no no does it impact the coexistence no hmm. so once i will i am able to see in me clearly that my innateness is something that is innate it is not affected by my sanskar then i can also see in others hmm. that this is his sanskar but innateness is innateness something which is pure he is also self organized okay. within ji ji right we yes ji ji means innateness is something which is universal and perennial which has been yes. there which will have been there which is in everybody it is equal which is in every But unit the, which is in every unit yes yes, yes. the only so point the is that is self organized ji ji uh, atri is self organized atom is self organized you are self organized now what we are doing we are trying to modify or align our sanskar with this innateness mm-hmm. with this coexistence mm-hmm. so this is the sanskar where we have to work the rest mm-hmm. things are working in this universe mm-hmm. right we ji bhai ji thank you so much bhai okay bhai so nice discussion so let's have 10 minutes pause to self observe ourselves and then we will come back to uh, then we will come back to pramod kumari ji ganesh ji and many hands are raised so i will so we can have reflection due of this 10 minute observation so we have chandan pandit ji with us uh namaste bhaiya namaste sabhi ko namaste so, bhaiya hey maine jo observation kiya wo uh matlab jo mere bhav the wo lagbhag kabhi kabhi iste स्थिर रह रहे थे कभी कभी स्थिर नहीं रह रहे थे और और कुछ कुछ विचार चल रहे थे जिनको मैं लिख भी रहा था थोड़ा बहुत थोड़ा बहुत पाँच मिनट का ही मैंने एक्सरसाइज किया उसके बाद फिर मैं लिखने लगा आई स्टार्टेड टू राइट और सो उसमें उसमें व्हाट आई हैड रिटर्न इज की वाई समाइम इट हैपन्स दैट वेन लाइक वेन आई एम टॉकिंग टू somebody then i am exp- i am being more expressive and then that expression i feel uh 
like something has something uh, i feel i feel relaxed when sh- when sharing something to some somebody for example if i am feeling overwhelmed with some some issues or some happenings in my life and i share it to somebody i feel a little uh, calmness but uh, that then then again and again i realized in myself that whether i am sharing that with having the right feeling within inside or, or not so i think that there i lag, lagged some time so i'm just ref- i was just reflecting on that and also i raised my hands for asking a question as well uh, like uh, like you shared that uh, that uh, children example like uh, when children uh, sees that uh, uh, that he is happy when the mother cares for her, her so that feeling stays in that children for so long so is it uh, like just a uh, uh, feeling that she gets from her mother or it is feeling that is already uh, there in the child and it just gets expressed so this was my two observations by yeah. and and the question yes yeah so when mother is cooking food and you know, and his focus on focus of child if it is focusing on the feeling so then he can see feeling of gratitude him in himself for the mother so this feeling of gratitude you know which has emerged in himself that will be source of happiness for him and it can sustain longer than that taste happiness that he will get from taste of food but to ensure every moment this feeling he need to be aware in himself he need to practice to observe feeling every moment he need to be aware of this relationship harmony and coexistence then he can ensure feeling all the moment as we are talking in this step you know but if it is happening that at this moment he is able to see uh, feeling of care in mother and feeling of gratitude in himself then he will be happy at this moment if he is he is able to see another moment then he will feel happy another moment for continuity he need to be aware of his relationship feeling of relationship understanding and coexistence then he can ensure every moment right priya okay 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 priya so so priya it, it it means like uh uh like it's a bit uh, difficult for that age for them to self observe isn't it like it is not difficult able... it is a matter of practice whether we have given him as this kind of environment or not if we are not giving that kind of environment to child then it will be difficult for him if we are giving that kind of environment where everyone you know is practicing to see this feeling then it will be easy for him right we are ji so for example in this morning session you know for one hour for four months we sit together so it is giving you an environment where we are talking about feeling we are talking about relationship understanding you know, harmony coexistence that's why we are going we are observing ourselves so this kind of environment is required in our family also mm-hmm. then it will be natural for child right is it okay bhaiya ji 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 bhai ji but my second observation what about that like uh when we share something to somebody and our uh like we feel uh re- relaxed so if you are sharing and thinking of complimenting others then you will feel relaxed if you are sharing and have feeling of opposition then 
you will not feel relaxed. So sharing with feeling of relationship will make you relax. And if you are sharing and criticizing others in that sharing, then it will not make you comfortable. Right, Bia? Bia, that is one thing. I like, suppose I have some issue and that, okay, I, Bia, that even uh, I share, uh, share Bia, with somebody. Actually, uh, actually, it's time for Hindi session. Okay, okay. Right. Sure. So you may raise your hand uh, tomorrow in the beginning. I may start with you then. Okay, man. Okay. Thank you, sir. Right. Way. So I will wait for you tomorrow. Sure. Thank you. Yes. So thank you, everyone, for participating in this session. Now I request to uh, Sunil Bhaiya to start in this session. Yes, sir.